Hello guys, Kim Jong Lee here, back with another episode of Piper's Adventures in the Cup of Barbarians. Um, this time, Piper is still in the group stages. Uh, he's playing as Numidia, of course, and his opponent is Naughty of the Immortals of War Clan, playing as Germania. Um, so, we'll look at the builds quickly. Piper's just brought his build from uh, his first game, um, which he seems to favour. Uh, in general, um, with the Desert Infantry, uh, Gold Gold, uh, Gold Gold Archers, uh, two Gold Gold Slingers, um, and a lot of this, these Long Shield Cav units, um, and two of these Numidian uh, Camel Riders. Um, we see Nordi here as Germania. He's taken a few Skirmisher Warband, um, which don't seem to have many upgrades. Uh, so they're throwaway units. These Chosen Axemen are likely to be the same, and the War Dogs as well. Uh, so all his upgrades and money is in on these Gothic Cav and Barbarian Cav units. <laughs> so a very, very aggressive uh, build from Naughty here. Uh, really, probably uh, one of the preferred ways to build Germania. Um... I haven't really seen any Germanic builds that balance the infantry and archers. It's usually one way or the other. Uh, Germania usually goes either very, very skirmish uh, heavy or just a full rush. Um, and it looks like nordi has gone for the latter. Uh, so he's going to have to be very effective with these Gothic Cav units um, and these Barbarian Cav units. <coughs> So uh, these camels have got to have him a bit worried here. Um, and these archers and slingers are very threatening for Naughty. So he's got to get rid of these missile units as quickly as he can. He's already targeted down one of them with these warhounds as you guys can see here. <laughs> Looks like he's also going in after another slinger unit here with one of his barbarian calf. But that's going to get... Um, pursued by the long shield cav uh, looks like one of the skirmisher skirmishers have routed um, and a lot of cav just sitting here not sure where to go um, and we have a gothic cav that's gone to a bit too far here and who's gotten caught on some of these desert infantry uh, which is not too good <laughs> um, we can see the barbarian cav coming back here but it looks like his general has engaged three units by himself, so that doesn't look too too good. Support seems... Uh, his general died, um, which is very terrible for Germania. Um, this is could very well be the game, but it looks like the Germanic units' stats are allowing them to do some pretty decent work, and Nordi is still going to be able to route... Uh, majority of the Numidian units before uh, their support arrives in time and he's going to be able to get these chosen axemen engaged um, so still looking very favorable for Naughty but uh, the getting rid of that general definitely very good for Piper um, so Piper it's looking tough for him now Naughty has a lot of cav left um, he did uh, sacrifice his general there but Maybe it was worth it because Piper invested a lot um, into that area and Naughty was able to take that opportunity and route a lot of Piper's units. So now Naughty has um, a very large advantage over Piper, I'd say. Um, but he still has to get rid of these missile units as quickly as he can. Um, the longer these missile units stay around, uh, the more his advantage diminishes and um, it'll become much more difficult for him to uh, close out the game. Uh, Piper still does have a chance here, but he's got to regroup his Long Shield Cav. This unit as well could be very helpful. Um, and try and keep his missiles alive um, to shoot at the Germanic units. Germanic units are very, very vulnerable to missiles. So, for example, the... Uh, chosen Axemen, uh, naked units, so they have no armor and no shields, very, very weak to missiles. Um, 
so these missiles, slingers, archers, very very effective against those and something uh, Piper really wants to keep alive and Naughty really wants to get rid of. Um, Piper's going to be trying to use these long shield cav units to protect these archers and slingers. Uh, he really doesn't want them to go to, to death, to die. Um, it looks like a Chosen Axeman has routed here, which is quite funny. But uh, we have Naughty here sitting around with a lot of cav. Um, not really doing too much. I'd say Naughty has this game still. Um, but he's got to start deciding what to do with this cav um, before things uh, get too bad. Uh, what I would really consider doing is maybe splitting my cav off into two groups and just chasing um, archers down with them because and keeping all my infantry and stuff together uh, because that'll make it very difficult for um, Piper to target uh, individual units if they're together and if the groups of cav are big enough it'll also deter Piper from um, kind of trying to target the cav as well and I think at this point Naughty can kind of afford to do that if he can't then he can always keep his cav in one big group and chase down all the archer units one by one and even though it like even even though it might take a while and make his cab quite tired. I think I feel like it's something he he certainly has to do um, at some point to close out the game. He can't just leave big units like these around that, or this one around. And the inventory is very very poor, so Nordi really can't afford to lead, to just kind of sit around here and chase things part way. He really needs to go the full distance, really close out this match. And he has to do that by chasing down the archers. And the best way to do that is to have an unstoppable cavalry force chasing the archers. And uh, that's exactly what I would do. Uh, this is a good start. Getting rid of some archers over here. Um, uh, this unit chasing the archer unit is actually correct. Because it's too far out. So bringing it back will only get it shot more. Um, so chasing this Ashu unit is the right decision. Uh, but I really think more could be done with these cav units. There's 31 archers there and 37 there, which is uh, very big. Uh, he really should have his cav grouped together because Piper has um, three longshield cav here ready to pounce. Um, so he needs to... Uh, so. Uh, Naughty needs to be very careful. Very nice here, uh, his cav routing uh, one of the bigger units of archers, which is good news. <laughs> I think really Naughty's caring too much about these chosen axemen uh, and warhounds and whatever. Uh, I think they're throwaway units, so I, f I really feel like he should just keep them in one big blob <coughs> um, and chase the archer units with his cav, because his cav is better right now so it doesn't really matter if he loses some infantry um, as long as the cav is there then he should have the upper hand um, in this match but it seems like Naughty is a bit indecisive he's not sure whether to go for the uh, Piper's cav or the archers and I feel like he has to go for the archers um, just because he can catch them and he can't he obviously can't catch cav with his heavy cav <sighs> again naughty sitting around um really i i think he can't afford to do this uh he really has to chase with the cav get them all together control c one big group and just throw them at one unit uh i really think that these Skirmisher Warbands and Warhounds and Chosen Axemen are throwaway units. I really don't think there's any point in trying to keep them alive. They could, they'll do very little against um, Long Shield Cav, especially since they're so poorly upgraded. Uh, well, he's gotten rid of this Archer unit here, which is good. 
Um, this is unit here though that he needs to address. He sent a warhound after it, but... Oh, we've seen some action here, and it looks like a lot of the Germanic units are routing after just one charge. Uh, definitely due to the poor morale, uh, since their general is dead, and the fact that they are so poorly upgraded as well, so... A mass route going out there, um, onto these units, and that's two, two units of Gothic Cavs, so not keeping his cab together, really getting punished there. Uh, by Piper, um, which is unfortunate for Naughty, and things look still okay for Piper. Uh, the skirmish warband obviously pretty useless, not going to do anything. Um, Trezen Axeman here, Piper's got to be careful of, so he's going to be running away from those. And still quite a few uh, archers left for Piper, um, still with arrows, so we'll be very, very good against Trezen Axeman. Um, we have the Gothic Cav too, which could help out. Uh, the battle hasn't really slipped away from Naughty yet, but the momentum definitely is with Piper. Um, Naughty has lost a lot of his Cav now, which is really what he needed. Uh, also, this Archer unit coming back with 31 men, which is very, very strong. <laughs> so... Okay, that's good. Uh, some Archers getting routed by Naughty there. Um, another one getting routed there by Naughty again, but this is a Gothic Cav unit, so it is slower than the Longshield Cav, and it looks like uh, a lot of, quite a few of the men got caught there, which is unfortunate. Um, unfortunate for Naughty, uh, good for Piper. <laughs> so Piper again has these three Longshield Cav units, but and the general's still alive, uh, so the morale is much better. Um, then the Germans, um, these guys are steady, while well, these guys are impetuous, so the morale definitely is on Piper's side, and he's also got this Arsh unit left, which is quite good, but it's exhausted, so you might want to rest that a bit, um, Naughty obviously still in a rush to finish this game out, which I feel is a bit inconsistent, um, getting, getting this Barbarian Cav caught as well, which is unfortunate for him, uh, I feel it's a bit inconsistent because we saw him sit around here with all his infantry and s skirmishes and whatnot it, during the mid-game. And if you want to close out the game fast, you can't have units sitting around. Um, you can't have cav units sitting around not doing stuff. You can have infantry units sitting around not doing stuff, but I feel like cav units you have to kind of really utilize those to... In this in this particular game, the the cav was really important for Naughty. It was where most of his money was, and um, unfortunately for him, um, yeah, I think he just had trouble closing out the game, uh, which is also partly due to Piper's uh, Piper's play, um, really uh, using his cav to protect archers and things, making it difficult for Naughty to decide. To, uh, how to snipe them down, and I think Naughty was a bit indecisive, um, and that proved to be a uh, reason for uh, his failure to get rid of all the missile units this game. <laughs> so, still a lot of cab left for Piper. Uh, they're exhausted though, so Naughty is still with a chance, but these archers are going to make it very, very... Uh, difficult for him, and with only one cab unit left and so many just unupgraded crappy units, it's I'd say it's very s definitely in favor of Piper at this point. Uh, one gothic cav with three people in it isn't going to really do much. This archer unit could probably melee against this and still win, <laughs> and uh, this cav could just charge into some of these infantry units here. Uh, and we've also got this Sasha unit back here, so... Yeah, but uh, keeping these three cav alive, very important. And very impactful. As you can see, routing three units right there, uh, very quickly, raising their morale, so they're eager now. And these guys shaken, so looking very bad for Naughty now. Uh, expecting Papa to win with this many 
have units left. We've got flaming arrows as well, which is a great idea coming from Piper. Um, the unit is exhausted, so they're not going to do too much damage anyway, so you might as well just use for flaming arrows and demoralize some of these German troops. Uh, this unit's gone too far now, it's going to get countercharged and killed uh, very quickly. There we go. Flaming Arrow is doing their work rounding that unit then. Just just one unit left. Chosen Axemen already wavering. And Naughty admits defeat. Uh, so, well played to Piper. Um, very, very close game. Uh, obviously, the early game, uh, Piper got pushed into a corner very quickly. Um, and he had an uphill battle the whole way, but he managed to pull it off. And, yeah, well played to him. Well played to Naughty as well. Uh, I'm sure he'll improve for next time. And uh, he's de definitely a great player in his own right. And Germania certainly isn't the easiest um, faction to pilot in CWB. So, uh, well played to him as well. I'll see you guys next time.